What's going on guys? Emo Tempest here and I am back. We are doing Dawn of Heroes card of the weeks starting now. Uh, yeah, June was the... I mean, we knew this was coming sooner. Uh, we know the set was pushed up. Uh, it says it right here. This Dawn of Heroes will be released July 28th. So I think it's interesting that we're getting two cards this week technically. And uh, maybe next week as well. Uh, we'll talk about that in a little bit, but yeah, so spoiler season should be coming around soon. This is probably the kickoff for them. I know some of uh, some of the content creators got spoilers. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> um, we'll see how that goes. Uh, excited for the set, as always. Um, I guess just a little overview. Uh, I don't actually have it here. We'll, we can get to it in a second, too, if I go through the news we can see what are some of the cards um, that are popping up in this set, uh, but we can do that afterwards. Um, yeah, this set got pushed up to July since uh, Lorcana was coming out, so yeah, this is why we're doing it now, I guess. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. So we got two Cecils here. Uh, forward, Dark Knight. You can pay an Earth and a Water instead of paying the CP cost to cast the Cecil. If you do so when Cecil enters the field, Cecil deals you a point of damage. Uh, it's not the worst trade-off. Um, it, it does save a lot of CP early on in the game. Uh, put Cecil in the break zone, search for a card named Cecil with Job Paladin and play it onto the field. Uh, I think this is where he will shine mostly, but um, we'll, we'll get into that as well in a little bit. And he has an S ability, Ten Tenebrous Blast. Choose a forward deal at 8,000 damage, so S and 1 Earth. Now the other Cecil, he's a hero, forward paladin. Uh, these art is amazing, right? By the way, Yukihiro Kojimoto is the the Galif and Cryo, I believe, uh, in the from the recent sets, and as well as uh, Edge and uh, the Bart's Boko Bart's. Um, so that's just a, uh, yeah, you know those those pieces have been fantastic. So. Um, yeah, when Cecil or a Category 4 character enters the field, gain a crystal. This effect will trigger only once per turn. Uh, you can use a crystal to choose a Category 4 forward you control until the other turn he gains a thousand power, and this forward cannot be chosen by your opponent's abilities. And this one has Luminous Blast. Choose a forward, it loses 5,000 power until the end of the turn. So, um, yeah, uh, they're both pretty interesting cards, I think. Uh, definitely have a lot of potential uh, I don't think I'm gonna write off stuff right away um, like like we have in the past I, I've, we've been wrong before and um, we've been pleasantly surprised with some of the playability of some cards uh, as we've gone over these as we've done this over the years right and I know you guys have been with me for a long for a while so and if you haven't welcome new new followers of course I know we've picked up a, a few over the last uh, month or so so um, yeah, he, the, there's not much in the article, unfortunately. Uh, it just kind of goes over it, uh, that he has an action ability and stuff like that. Then he talks about the second one. Um, uh, the only thing he really like highlights here, the only real highlights here, where he talks about other, um, that the Earth-Water combination is likely the best way to build a deck. But of course, it access to this Cecil, which we love, which is what I think might actually be one of the better options. Um, it just... Uh, it, it, it's just it really just depends right like and I, and I guess I, I I don't know my rulings enough anymore uh, but I'd have to see when timing happens for a lot of these effects right so um, and what I mean by that is that if you target something else can you sack this one to bring this one out to tax in, in it, like it like I don't know jump ahead and get taxed I don't know it's weird I don't think so but um, I, I guess we'll find out uh, same thing, and this one was interesting. I, I knew I had thought of this. Uh, this one was the last one on my mind, I think. Uh, and so, in a Cat 4 deck, um, and you're looking for more Cat 4 characters, or when you have them, when you have the, this one and you are and you need to hard, like, pivot into something like this, this is a good one. Because you can dole the characters and choose a forward, dull and brave it. Um, honestly, I think this just really feels, some of these really feel solid, like, uh, title cards. But, again, we don't want to, uh, lowball or low play some of these things. Um, 
But uh, yeah, so we can break this down to a little bit. So it has to be job paladin, right? And I have this up for you guys here too. Uh, paladin, we have the wind cecil, and we have some of these oldies too. Like this is what I'm talking about, right? Like uh, summons or abilities your opponent uh, must choose cecil if possible. So I don't know if it's like once they're chosen, you can't choose them again, or it's redirected. I don't think so. Um, and then this one too. This one's actually uh, might be better. Uh, if Cecil is dealt damage, uh, all forwards other than Cecil, you control gain a thousand power. And if they are dealt damage by summons or abilities, that damage is reduced to zero. So, going from that one to this one could save a lot of forwards, right? Like, uh, you know, I, I can see, you know, we don't have it as much, but like a squall board wipe or like, you know, uh, Susano, things like that. If you pivot into this guy. He just like eats up all the damage, right? Like, or he protects everyone from that. And there's also this other one, this other hero, uh, that does something similar to that. And then the, randomly this other green paladin one, which is probably my least favorite one. I was kind of hoping this one would be an option because you can kind of just filter into the same size, I guess. Like, I mean, like in terms of power as the earth one that we just saw, but also draws you a card on entry, but he's a king. So that one's out of the question. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of good options. It's, it's really just interesting. Uh, it's going to be interesting interactions. Uh, again, I think aside from the one that it's revealed, the win one might be your best option. Uh, just mainly because you can pivot to, to put your opponent in awkward situations while playing other forwards. Um, I think it'll ultimately increase the chances of, um, multicolor decks, right? As long as we're living in the earth water realm, which is already where we start. Um, being able to play that other Cecil for two, trigger, you know, a damage, then bring this guy out when we need him to play the cards that are stuck in our hands. Uh, I don't know. Or it could just ramp up more, right? Because he plays backups too. Um, and so that, that that's kind of where his potential is going to lie. Uh, now, I don't think we're going to get any more Cecils this set, but uh, it really just depends how many more Category 4 characters we get as well which would help validate this one. Now, the crystal thing is, I believe, a little lost, in my opinion. Uh, it, it, it's very nice, right? Gets plus one, can be chosen by opponent's abilities. Um, he generates at least one source of protection, right? So he can save himself uh, from certain things, if, unless he gets uh, a modded or whatever, but... Um, and then... Right now, we like... Again, outside of himself, the crystals in Cat 4 are really unnecessary. I think there's only a Cane, the the, the two-drop win one, and then like a Cecil, another Earth Cecil, that just eats him up, I think, right? He doesn't get you any crystals, he just eats him up. Uh, and so, I don't know if we'll be seeing, I don't know if this is a, uh, like a direction this deck is gonna take in general, like a category four thing with crystals that kind of lend, you know, that are helpful. Um, the other thing that I'm, I'm concerned about is that the colors, right? This four has always been scattered, uh, and that's kind of why that the start of the the Golbez versus uh, Cecil versus Golbez, right? Uh, starter or whatever was um, kind of like lost. Uh, we've, we've, you know, a few of us managed to find uh, strengths in the Ridia and in the Rosa now, um, but the other ones kind of fell flat, so. I wonder if this these things might help those. It also just depends on like what other crystal effects we need to use throughout the throughout the set. Um, crystals have still been like low on the radar. Uh, I think we've only seen there's only been some success with them recently, like the Chris Lopez uh, Yoink deck, uh, Justin Jacoby's Mono Water list that used the Glaciellas. Um, but you know, outside of that, there there's no real big like decks that prioritize that right and always as always uh the, the earth lightning uh you know ryan chen's list that you know it just uses robles right that still uses robles not nobody else uses really robles anymore um and so it's just really the the crystal thing that's concerning for me uh on the right side um both of these have s's so playing multiple cecil sesai uh is gonna help like it's, it's not the worst thing right because you have options it sucks when you need like multiple copies of this thing of things and then they're like 
the other ones doesn't have an S, right? So at least these are, uh, you know, good for both reasons. And I think that's why they want you to play them together because of that, uh, unlike the other ones that don't have S's. Um, maybe this one, but you can't go into this one, right? Because he's dark, he's not, he's not uh, Paladin or whatnot. So, um, but yeah, I think that's uh, gonna do it. I don't have much else. Um, we can we can do pros and cons again um, really quick. We didn't do that last season, but uh, um, yeah, I can jump into that really quick. Okay, uh, pros and cons. Uh, Earth, cheap uh, cheap to cast. It has some kind of protection. It deck thins for us, which is nice. We get out the non-EX burst cards, so we can trigger our opponents. Uh, several options for the Paladin, which I talked about. Has an S, which we also mentioned. Uh, for the water one, it offers protection, but I can't really think of anything else for right now. And the cons, I, I feel like the crystal part, it might be wasted. And again, the S's are slightly underwhelming, right? The 8,000 and 5,000, like 8,000 damage or 5,000 reduction. Um, does it really do much for us these days? I'd like, I feel like I'd have to have, like, if, like, and again, right now I'm just reflecting on the current meta, right? We have nine, our biggest problems are Une and, and Wool, right? Like... Uh, I'm not gonna double S for to kill the wool, and then he just plays one next turn, and then the other the earth uh, the earth Cecil doesn't even like kill him, right? So it's just that I struggle with those. Um, I'm not saying they're not gonna be useful, and they're not used to trade, trade, right? Because like I can swing into again not necessarily warrior of light, but like everyone else can uh, can swing, and like we can reduce something by five, which is you know effective. And the other one's uh, same thing. It's like um, he's big, but you know we need to get let the other guys being able to punch so he can trade with the eight thousand or something like that. So uh, they just they they are a little underwhelming. They're not completely useless, but those are my thoughts. Actually, and so that does it for us for the pros and cons. So we actually I actually wanted to take some time to come back for a second and come here. Uh, so we did have that new product uh, information, I guess, that they posted a little while back. Uh, I don't know if I have a date here, but uh, yeah, Summer Sneak Peek of it, July 28th. This matches up as well with what we just read. Um, 158 cards, 26 are full arts, one special card, and one is a crystal card. So we get a new crystal again. I guess that's cool. I guess that's going to keep going. Um, we know the, the fancy card is going to be the Estini, right? We've, 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 that's been deduced already. That's been given to us. Um, we have a new Auron, which is fantastic. Uh, a new, what's that called? Uh, Adramok? I don't know. It's some, some weird, uh, summon, I assume this is going to be. We have a new Yuffie, a new Terra, a new Tifa, a new Noctis. Um, I know we've seen this one too. I forgot his name already, but, uh, and then the Cecil. Uh, there's the Estinian as well. This is the Sample. This is going to be the chase card, of course. And then I think this is the box topper, which we've seen too, the Xenos. Uh, he's interesting too. We can go over him later once we get the non-sample version. But um, yeah, the legacy cards are Kuja, Emperor, and Exta. Uh, I think uh, Matthew Rice, uh, Rice made a post about this like recently. A little outdated, but they'll definitely look nice. Uh, full art of monos are, are, are very nice and pricey, so... Uh, that's gonna be a good thing and this this one actually might not be too bad uh, to get <laughs> to get full art I, I, I kind of like this one a lot um, yeah that's it we have a bunch of new art uh, again from all of them we just saw the Yukihiro Kajimoto ones so we have let me see we have some new 10 art coming in I think this is reflective new four new new six new six New 10 stuff, two new 10 stuff. We only saw the R in here. This is Daigo. So this is this one, and then there's another one. Uh, and then Tactics Advanced, Crystal Chronicles, four and another 10 one. So three 10 arts, uh, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, and then lastly, of course, let's finish up with, um, you know, uh, next week, Rochelle will be introduced the uh, uh, twin characters. I wasn't sure who was going to do them, actually, uh, now that her and Tim have, you know, moved on to uh, to, our, to Ravensbrück, but um, this should be fun. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is, 
like the cover art one. We're gonna get the cover art piece. Uh, we'll get both of them, Alice and Alpha Nod, uh, next week. So that's a pretty giveaway. If not, what are their twin brother? <laughs> uh, let me know, guys. Leave it in the comments below for sure. And as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Um, make sure to follow me on Twitter and Twitch. We'll be doing. We're doing summer streaming now. Um, I'll be on randomly uh, throughout the week, Monday through Friday. Uh, we could play games and, or talk cards, whatever you want. So make sure to check those out. Uh, links in the in the description as well. Um, what do you think of Cecil? By the way, make sure to le let me know as well. Uh, yeah, talk to you later, guys. Thank you.